hello hello welcome to my channel my name is maria lopez and i am an independent stylist with color street and i'm going to be doing a mixed mani today i'm using leaf it to me this is in the new fall catalog and greeking out and this is a solid and it's been in the fall catalog for, or in the catalogs for quite some time. I think they were going to take it out a year, year and a half ago or so, but they decided to either bring it back or keep it in, in there. It's just done such a great, it's been a great seller. Um, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe and hit the like button and I will post my links if you would like to join my VIP group on Facebook I'll post the link below and um, come join us we have fun in there I have sales and all that um, if you are new to Color Street I can send you a sample just fill out the form uh, in the link you just Click on the link, it takes you to the Color Street website and scroll down to contact uh, my stylist, fill that out and I will get the information and you can make a note on there and let me know if that you would like a sample. All right, so let's get started. I've already prepped my nails and Cleaned them with the alcohol prep pad, which uh, when you open the package up, you'll see you get an al- <laughs> Well, look at that nail file. That's a first. Goodness. Anyway, alcohol prep pad, and you want to clean your nails off of any oils or if you had put lotion on, or you can wash them with Dawn dish soap. And then... There is my nail strips. You get two rows of eight, so a total of 16. They're double-ended in different sizes, different shapes. Um, you're, it's better to go bigger than smaller because um, you can always take off the excess if they're too big, but you can't really add um, it if they're too small. You can, but you can see a patch. So see, they all come with, normally it's a whole nail file, not a half a one. And it figures it'd be the rainbow one. I love rainbows. My Facebook VIP group is Rainbow Nails by Marie. Okay, so I'm, I am going to do a mixed mani. These do come perforated. Um, but I like to cut. I've just gotten in the habit of cutting it open. Sometimes the strips are all the way up there and you can't. I don't like to try to tap them down. So I just need to figure out. So you can see you get two strips of eight. which, And they do smell like nail polish. Just like if you open a bottle of nail polish, it's just not as potent. And it goes away. So, I just need to figure out, I think I'm going to do, when you want to check the sizes, you can just hold them up to your nail, make sure it's going to cover on both sides. Um, I know this size fits mine, but I'm not using this. I'm going to do my ring finger and my middle finger with these and then I will use the greeking out for the rest of my nails. I try to use two uh, one strip for two fingers. It doesn't always work out that way, but I do try. So when you get this, you want to peel this clear protective coating or not coating uh plastic off and then separate this 
I am going to do the anchor method because I feel a little shaky today with my little uh, shaky. <laughs> Sorry, I can't even think of the word. Uh, but I get them. Tremors. Get the tremors. Um, if you don't get it on just right, you can lift it up and reapply it. But I did get that on. I'm happy with how that went on. Oh, that is really pretty. So I do like to file it off. I just don't want to ruin the other end that I'm going to use on my other nail. Um, just so I can save them, which you're not supposed to save them. They are technically a one-time use only. I have to say that because that's Color Street doesn't guarantee that they will work if you reseal the packages or just stick them in the freezer. You don't even have to reseal them. Just stick them in the freezer and uh, make sure you bring them to room temperature when you're ready to use them. So, you know, they're, it says one time use only on the packaging, but we have figured out that we can save them and use them again. Um, not the ones that you've already put on your nails, obviously, but you know, I might, because I'm doing, not doing double layers, I might put uh, clear as day on, which is just clear. It's just like using a top coat that's clear, but these have a top coat on them. I don't know how many days I'm going to be wearing these. I was going to do my um, Manny Friday. I've been doing them on Fridays. I mean, they've kind of gone one day out little by little. And, um, but with Thanksgiving and then uh, before Thanksgiving happened, my youngest daughter, uh, her car got stolen from her apartment complex and they found it and the next state over totally ruined. It's so maddening. So many cars are getting stolen. There's like 40 cars a day getting stolen. And it is just ridiculous. <sighs> I just, I don't even, I don't get it. It's horrible. And if they're not stealing them, then they are, the thieves are taking the um, what, catalytic converter out to sell. But I guess what they do is they steal the car, go across to the other state, maybe to go back home. I don't even know. And then they dump it. But before they dump it, they ruin it. Like they slashed her tires, punched the ignition, and messed up the steering wheel. Oh, you know what? I wonder if I can peel this off. I should have got it over a little. Talking about that car there. See, so you can slowly, gently peel them off. I wanted the flower to show all the way on there. Um... They really like to steal Subarus, which her car is was a Subaru, and stole it from her apartment. She just got her first apartment, and she hasn't even been there a month, and this happens. It, talk about maddening, you guys. It is, oh my gosh, I feel so bad for her. And she works all the way across town. She's 19, so, you know, 
first apartment, then her first car. She's only had the car maybe three months and then just moves into that apartment trying to, you know, be an adult, be responsible. With, uh, it's just, it's uh, so maddening. Anyway, so I've been kind of preoccupied with that. And then, of course, Thanksgiving and then the Black Friday or Friday, which Black Friday sale. Then I was going to do my mani last night. And then when I realized and remembered my while well, I was babysitting, um, my da one daughter has six boys. So I was babysitting them so mom and dad could go away for the weekend. And when I decided, oh, let, I got to film and do my Manny, my battery was at 2%. <laughs> I was like, mm, okay, it's not meant to be. So here I am doing it now. So wherever you all are from, is is this happening in your town or state also? Oh, that's what I was saying. They they steal the car. Okay, I'm in Washington State. Okay, they steal the car or cars, whichever. Go across this to the, the next state. Maybe they go home. I I don't. We don't even know. Dump the car, and then they steal another car to come back. Anyway, that's what the rumor is right now rumor has it that that's how they're operating uh i don't get it i mean come on uh, they just they don't even care and the way the police are their hands are tied or something they're they i don't i don't even know <sighs> look at that blue that is so pretty Anyway, so I know what ones fit my fingers, and most likely I can't use the other side. I might be able to stretch it a little, but um, it's so weird. I'm left-handed, but for some reason, I always do my right hand first. <laughs> I mean, oh my gosh, I always use my right hand to do my left hand first. Hey. <laughs> Uh, it's so weird. I don't know. And I, I'm like really, really left-handed. I'm surprised. It took me a long time to be able to put these on with my right hand because my, I'm so not right-handed. I'm left-footed. I mean, there are, you know, I, I, this has a sharp corner on it. Now, if you file your nails, a lot of people say um, you can go back and forth with a glass nail file, but honestly, you should still only go one direction with a glass nail file. Um, it's still not good to go back and forth. Anyway, so how was everyone's Thanksgiving? Mine was amazing because... I only cook the turkey. <laughs> My one daughter, she's like Wonder Woman. She did the rest. And I cooked the turkey. Well, and we did Hawaiian meatballs because upon her request. But all the other Thanksgiving food... Um, I don't eat it, but they all do. But she, the spread that she did was just amazing. And she made, uh, you know, she does the deviled eggs. And she did do the deviled eggs. And she did deviled eggs without any bad ingredients for me. So no sugar or anything in them. And I thought it was so awesome. I had my own supply. And I tell you what, I ate every single one of them. There had to have been five, at least. <laughs> I ate them all. But, and then I ate some turkey. 
and I did have uh, pick out some ham before they glazed it with all that sugar and honey glaze or whatever they glaze it with. Oh my goodness. Sometimes my eyes can't see right in my um, tremors kind of mess with me. I'm pretty sure the tremors are from not having my thyroid because I got them after, after my thyroid was taken out and I healed and everything is when it seems like I got all the tremors going. But what are you going to do? Some days are worse than others with them. Not every day. Um, some days I don't really feel like I'm having the tremors much at all. But then I'll think I'm not having them and then I'll watch a video. Oh, I peeled it right there. Like a, um, a video and others might not be able to notice the tremors, but I do. But that's okay. Sometimes my head will shake. I thought I had Parkinson's, but I mean, I wondered if I was getting Parkinson's. Thinking about, no, that's totally not going to go right. <laughs> that's okay. Like, no one's going to even notice that, you know? Okay, next. Oh my gosh, you guys. So, <laughs> one of my grandsons has par two parakeets. And he brought one out to show me that... Uh, and it was on his shoulder to show me that he's been working with training them because I've gotten on him about it to, you know, make sure that he trains them to, and holds them so that they're not so scared of people. So he brought, <laughs> brought the parakeet. Sorry, it's really not funny. <laughs> now when I look back, it is okay. Uh, brought the peri one of the parakeets out to show me, and, and it was cool, and she was perched on his shoulder, and then I put my finger um, up, and she got on my finger, and I was like, oh, it was so cute. She's so, they're so pretty. They're really pretty yellow. Um, I'm thinking her name is Rosie, but I'm not totally sure. Anyway, so I'm holding her. And then I decided that he could take her back. I had enough. And he puts his hand up. And apparently she didn't want to go with him. So instead, she flew. However, she flew right to our dog. Because the dog was there. And I screamed my head off. Foster! His name's Foster. And my daughter and they they were like, what do you got it scream like that for? I'm like, because he had the bird in his mouth. Oh, and there's the little feathers from from her head all over the floor. Tiny. So his tooth skinned her head a little but she's totally fine he's trained he's so good uh when i yelled at him foster stop and i'm talking yell i didn't say it all casual like this he he, he stopped he's such a good boy he immediately dropped that poor little bear keat I was, oh my gosh, I was scared to death. I, I, oh my gosh, I couldn't have a repeat of, of, uh, one of our pets killing one of their pets because when, um, that grandson was, gosh, how many, it's probably been like 
he must have been like four years old and he's 13 going to almost going to be 14. Um, he had a pet, uh, praying mantis and my youngest daughter, the 19 year old, well, she's going to be 20 in just a couple days. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Anyway, she had a praying mantis, and I was at work, and his mom, my daughter, my other daughter, or another daughter, <laughs> brought the praying man their praying mantis over because they wanted them to to meet, and we had a nice um, what's it a uh, tank tank and just everything for my daughter's praying mantis and i guess they put the my grandson's praying mantis in with my daughter's praying mantis and she ate him they got in a fight according to the kids they thought that they were like playing because, you know, they're so young. But instead, they were mating. And the female eats the male after. I'm not going to use that on my thumb. The female. <laughs> so she ate him. <laughs> my poor grandson. So I was like, this dog cannot eat this parakeet. It would be another one of his pets. That bites the dust, you know, because of one of our pets. Oh, it's really not funny. But it's funny now because the parakeet survived and she's fine. She, she's recovered. She was shaking, trembling so bad after it happened. Oh, my gosh, you guys. It was terrible. I was so scared that he was going to eat her because they have chickens and when they first got them, oh, that's so pretty. When they first got them, um, they had them inside in their little, um, you know, chick pen, whatever it's called. And when we went over there for the first time, I'm not used to wearing a blue like this, a color like this, but I'm liking it. It's different for me. Um... They went, uh, we went over there, of course, Foster goes with us, um, and he's 13, but he still will act like a little puppy. Uh, he wanted those baby chicks so bad, we had to really keep an eye on him, because he just, he, he just kept pacing back and forth, <laughs> like, he wanted to play with them. He thought they would be a good play toy, apparently. But he never did get a hold of them. And they're all big chickens now and laying great eggs. And oh, they're so yummy. Anyway, have you guys ever had anything like that happen? Oh, man. And how was your Thanksgiving? If you celebrate Thanksgiving, do you do the traditional food? You know, the turkey. Some people do a ham every year. Turkey, ham, what is that? Like a bubble. Um, the bean string or green bean casserole, pumpkin pie. They had all of that. I was so proud of myself. I didn't stray off of my no sugar, no grain. Oh, the mashed potatoes. But my daughter doesn't make them like I do. So I know they were still delicious because she's an amazing cook. Um, but I used cream cheese in my mashed potatoes all right so that's it we about done all done i'm not i don't think i'm gonna put clear as day because i don't know how long i'm gonna wear this i might want to take it off by friday and well this turned out better than i thought it might all right thanks for watching and comment down below um if you've had any experiences like that and how your thanksgiving was it's my favorite holiday ever. All right. Talk to you all later. Ciao.